would you? What's the response to parents who think that kids who take striking or jujitsu will make the kids more violent? I think it'll make them less violent. Uh, I think it teaches them confidence, and especially with jujitsu, it teaches them this respect, where it's like that kid that may not, you know, fit in so well or something. When we're on the mat, like all that stuff doesn't matter. Like we all t treat each other with the same amount of respect, and that's what's so great about it is. You may be a prominent member of the community, right? But when you step on the mat, you're still a white belt, you know? And you still have to train with each other. And everybody's treated the same, with the same amount of respect and treats each other with the same amount of respect. I worked for years as a, uh, as a bouncer. And the more I did jujitsu, the less and less I wanted to engage. Because at that point, you know, training almost every other day or every day, by the time I would get to work, you know, I had already been fighting with heavyweights and like people who had already known jujitsu and did jujitsu. And so by that point, you know, at 1.30 a.m., a, a, a drunk person's not somebody that I really want to engage with. It's like, you know what, I've already had my, my fill and it was with people that know what they're doing. This would just be, um, this would be like kicking a puppy or something, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't, I don't need to do that. I don't need to assert myself in that sort of sense. You know what I mean? I've already, I've already done it for the day, or, or even already been, you know, already, already been training as far as that's concerned. You know, so first time I walked in here, I had been wrestling for years. You know, twelve years, and the first time I tried jujitsu in my head, I was like, you know, maybe a black belt. They might submit me, but I'm a really good wrestler. But the, from the newest white belt to the oldest black belt, everybody just humbled me over and over and over again. And it, it made me really realize that I need to understand this and it's a lot more complicated than I thought and I'm not as good as I thought I was. It takes that like, it's like a separation between what's fake and what's real, you know? It's like, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How old should kids be when they start jujitsu? Um, I think it depends. I think, uh, you know, they can, we've, we started working with Avi when he was, what, three and a half, yeah. right? Three and a half, four years old. I think that's a good age to start because we can start on the, just like the tumbling and like the judo kind of aspect, the takedowns and stuff. But, you know, he, he was one of those, those kids that, you know, after a, after a, you know, five, six months, he was starting to really pick it up and, and, and listen and, and understand the concepts and everything like that. And that, that, uh, that was pretty rare, but he also got this instruction where it was one-on-one -on -one most of the time because there wasn't other kids in there. And so he got a lot of the attention. I think if they're young, the best thing to do is do like one-on-ones and sort of build them up before, before they start jumping into class and stuff like that. But I, I mean, I think, you know, three, four years old, five years old, that's absolutely fine. The, the, the hard thing is uh, the submissions. He was able to understand it um, and understand like, oh, I'm hurting you, I need to let go and tapping and all that kind of stuff. He, he was the youngest person I've ever taught submissions to. Usually I wait till about six years old, seven years old before I start teaching submissions to kids just because I want them to understand that it's a great responsibility to have to, you know, not harm somebody but still try to harm somebody at the same time and understand that difference. Are you, are you waiting for me? Yeah, I got to do one more okay, class. Okay, okay. Is that uh, okay? Uh, yeah, la last question. I'll be super quick. Do you sure. remember the first three months when Avi didn't want anything to do with you? Like yeah. He didn't want, like... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do. I remember those first three months and I remember um, getting him out a little bit and kind of getting him out of his shell. Um, and then he'd kind of come back over and sit on the mat or whatever, or sit off to the side. But the more, the more I sat and engaged with him, even just like conceptually, you know, we would, we would sit and talk about the double leg, the breakdown. Well, where, where does your foot step? Oh, it steps between the feet or to the side? Oh, between, you know? And just being able to kind of like even talk him through it and talk through that kind of thing for him, I think that really helped him just conceptualize what he, he needed to be doing, you know? Yeah. Right on. Oh, my bad.
Oh, my bad. That was my bad. Let's go. One more. Or no, I'm sorry. Two more. That was even that. Yeah, I don't know. What are you thinking? Six, five, four, three, kick. One more, bud. One more, buddy. That Come last on, buddy. one, bro. Come Let's go. Ready? Oh, he got a bruise on that elbow, huh? Is that from throwing? No, it can't be. You ready? Can I get one more? Uh, one more? Yeah. Okay, let me see. Cut. Oh boy, that was excellent. Hey, you are. Good job, dude. Proud of you, man. Can I get a handshake? Yeah, you get a sticker. Good job, dude. That's sweaty hands. Sweaty hands. Sweaty hands. I'll be waiting.